Hello to everybody, uh, the Future Trend channel is again with you and today is 18th of May 2018 as usually we start our everyday analysis uh, of major currencies. So uh, what's interesting are uh, waiting for us uh, for the day of Friday. Uh, first of all, uh, from the point of view of economic releases, of course, it's, uh, mm, it's the data coming from um, Canada. Uh, there uh, we will have um, a consumer price index, uh, which of course, uh, as you know, uh, inflation numbers are the driving force at the moment of, <coughs> of movies in the interest rates as well as in the yield of uh, uh, corresponding uh, government papers. All in all, today we have a consumer price index as well as another important economic barometer, uh, retail sales numbers. So, from that point of view, probably the day uh, is looking to be rather volatile and interesting for the Canadian dollar pairs. But regarding the Canadian dollar, we will speak some later in our analysis um, of uh, commodity block of currencies. As regarding uh, the major currencies, uh, between them uh, we are uh, discussing uh, the situation uh, of uh, Euro-Dollar, Dollar-Yen Sterling and uh, Dollar-Swiss. Here the situation still uh, dictated by uh, recent developments uh, with, uh, with the yield of United States uh, government um, bonds. And here uh, the yield of 10-year United States Treasuries uh, reached uh, the level of 3.13%. Uh, so during the course of this week, uh, the yield of United States 10-year uh, government papers added 15 basis points. Not a bad job, by the way. But we see that uh, um, majority of majors uh, more or less accustomed uh, with uh, such kind of tendencies. As regards to Europe, if we exclude from the list uh, the current developments in Italy, probably we could see a euro a little bit higher from uh, recent levels. From technical point of view, the pair for sure is looking uh, to test it's uh, next pivotal support zone uh, located around 115 and a half. Uh, first of all, that's uh, the lows of November 2017. At the same time, here uh, lies also a long-term uptrend line. All in all, 115 and a half at the moment at the moment promised to be a rather solid support. And in case if we don't see um, a blow up of United States uh, uh, Treasury yields uh, dramatic with economic numbers in Eurozone, uh, this kind of support uh, should be held in the foreseeable future and probably um, will mark a kind of turnaround. Anyway, first of all, we need to see and to test, to really test this barrier. To, for the bulls, to really improve uh, the situation and the picture for a possible rebound, strong rebound in the euro dollar, uh, we need to uh, break firstly above uh, immediately falling trend line located around 119.10 and another uh, interesting and solid resistance zone located around moving average 200 daily line located around 12090, which also coincides with a psychologically important barrel 120. All in all, uh, Euro dollar should remain under the selling pressure while trading uh, below 120, 120, 20. Dollar Yen. Here, after we break above uh, um, psych psychologically important barrel 110, after we uh, successfully closing above uh, moving average 200 daily line uh, that's located at the moment around uh, 110 uh, 17 18 the pay is looking to extend uh, some other to extend its uh, recent move to the upside anyway we suggest that um, 
approaching a major barrier 112.25 while located a longer term uh, descending trend line we suggest uh, the pair could find an, an interim uh, kind of top and uh, for sure should find uh, some stronger selling interest that's why in our strategy list you can find a desire to sell around 112 with very close stop loss above the longer term trend line Stelling. here the situation uh, is uh, is also not uh, very optimistic for the stelling bulls right now the pair is still eroding its uh, moving average 200 daily line located around 135.50 and uh, subsequent closing um, on the weekly side on the weekly base below this uh, moving average 200 daily line uh, should uh, provoke uh, another decline in the cable at the moment like in the euro dollar uh, where we spoke about uh, uh, important uh, support zone of 115 and a half here a uh, support zone uh, located around uh, longer term uptrend line as well as a psychologically important level of 130 so from the point of view of a continuation of the bull trend the next uh, pivotal zone uh, for the euro dollar is 115 and a half for uh, cable is 130 so for those looking uh, uh, for um, for a soon a rebound for a, for a soon turn around of the dollar strength we uh, propose to use uh, such kind of barriers uh, to uh, enter new long position against the united states dollar more or less uh, that's uh, also applies for the dollar swiss uh, that's from a, a point of view of uh, uh, technicals should be looking to test uh, the highs of uh, january 2017 located around 103.35 that's also uh, have has some kind of strong arguments because from technical point of view you can see that while above uh, uptrend line located around 0.9790 uh, the pair should look really very bold to uh, reach uh, the aforementioned uh, resistance zone this resistance zone lies over there and that's a january high so 10335 Thank you very much for all of your attention some later we will come uh, with traditionally we will come with our analysis of euro crosses and commodity block of currencies